Thursday's press briefing concentrated on Ghana's case count and management, COVID-19 preventive measures, and clarity on the ban on social gathering. Given the update on Ghana's case count and case management, the Director of Public Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Bedu Sakodiem, asked the public to be very vigilant. 24 deaths among 5,530 cases. The death to positivity rate, which we term as the case fatality rate, stands at 0.43%. Clearly, if you are going to work on somebody, obviously you should have the mask on. The person that you also are going to work on should have the mask. And then should there be any, there should be minimal body contact as much as possible. If you need to use the gloves, do use that. The health minister, Kweku Ajiman Menu, hinted government may be forced to arrest recalcitrant persons who refuse to adhere to basic guidelines in fighting COVID-19, such as the wearing of face masks in public. Before coronavirus, we were talking about no bed syndrome. You remember? Now with corona, other countries have that problem. We have places in our hospitals, the beds that are empty. And that is a good indication. Our health system is so very strengthened. If we should begin to get ill, our hospitals will be full. And then we may move into situations where people are showing symptoms, they are dying, and we don't have places to take them. And that is not what any of us wants. So if you don't, at this stage, find a way of cutting the spread and we allow ourselves to be moving to be moving towards that era our situation will be catastrophic so all of us should become ambassadors to preach wherever we are that we should observe the basic rules or guidelines that have come out they are not very difficult to do so I don't understand why some of us will not do these things. And we have been thinking about what next do we do to enforce strict compliance with these basic guidelines. We are working on that, and I believe soon we will see the police arresting some of us who are becoming too recalcitrant. And if you are jailed for three months for not wearing the mask in public, probably we will take a cue from that. Information Minister Kojo Oponkrumah announced that the government has begun engagements with various stakeholders to examine COVID-19 prevention measures when Ghana gets out of the woods. He says these measures will be geared towards ensuring the safety of citizens and allow for normalcy in daily routines. Government envisages that in the coming weeks it will need to outline a gradual plan for post-restrictions era. Pursuant to this, the President of the Republic, Nana Redanko Kufuado, has commenced engagements with various stakeholders on safety measures that can allow an easing of the restrictions without compromising the health of the population. He has already engaged with the Association of Ghana Industries on potential measures for workplace safety. You heard the Honorable Minister speak to that. Industry has volunteered some measures which could be made mandatory in all workplaces and these measures are currently under consideration. The President has also commenced engagement with the education community on potential post-restriction measures that will allow a reopening of schools while protecting students, faculty, and non-teaching staff. The President is very concerned about the status of the millions of Ghanaian children whose education is now challenged because of the restrictions and is examining what it would take to ensure that learning and examination is not ultimately compromised. He's also been engaging with the transport sector on how to ensure more compliance and safety on public transport. It's very important to note that the government is engaging stakeholders to come up with precautionary measures post-COVID-19. This is to get everyone safe. My name is Kojo Achman reporting for City News.